Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako ay si Dr. Evelyn A. Rojas, Dr. Eva for short. Ako ay isang infectious disease specialist dito sa Manila Med. Narito po tayo upang sagutin ang ilang mga uh, tanong, facts or myths about HIV AIDS in com commemoration of the um, World AIDS Day. Ngayong December 1 po ay um, ating ginugunita ang World AIDS Day. Fact or myth, HIV positive patients can safely have children. Myth, ang mga HIV patients po kahit um, na-diagnose na sila with HIV ay maaari pa rin namang magbuntis at magkaanak. Of course, there are some um, conditions. So, for example, ang babaeng HIV positive patient ay dapat na naka-antiretroviral drugs to ensure na um, maiwasan ang pag-transmit ng HIV from the mother to the baby or to the fetus. But it's not a contraindication na magbuntis at eventually magkana. Also, kapag um, there are some conditions wherein sinasabi nila babawasan ang risk ng pag-transmit to baby, if they will do um, cesarean section over normal delivery or kapag hindi matagal yung interval mula nung pagputok ng bag of water or rupture of the membrane to delivery. So, dapat mas uh, short lang. So, these are some um, instances where in the risk of transmitting the virus from the mom to the baby is decreased. Fact or myth, HIV leads to AIDS. So, this is fact. Because HIV uh, pertains to the human immunodeficiency virus. So ito ang nagkukos ng HIV infection or HIV disease which eventually leads to full-blown acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or yung AIDS. But um, hindi naman all the time that you have full-blown AIDS already. As I've said, it's a spectrum. So you start with um, acute retroviral syndrome, the very first stage of the HIV infection. And then, merong mahabang latent period na tinatawag namin or in the patient, kahit he or she has the virus in his or her body, will remain stable. Latent, meaning yung virus ay hindi pa gaanong nagmamanifest. But eventually, kapag bumaba na yung immune system niya, that's the time that the virus will flourish. Madami ang virus sa katawan, mababa ang CD4 count niya, yung immune system and eventually lumalabas yung tinatawag na opportunistic disease or yung mga infection na hindi naman common nakikita sa immunocompetent individuals. So kapag nangyari na to, wherein you have opportunistic infections or opportunistic diseases, then the HIV infection can be now um, defined as full-blown AIDS. Unfortunately, up to this time, there is no available cure for the virus, but there are available treatments. So there are antiretroviral drugs that can treat the virus and suppress the virus in your body. So you can still live a normal life even if you have the virus. Fact or myth, non-LGBTQ people should not worry about getting HIV infection. So this is myth because ang HIV or yung human immunodeficiency virus, yung virus causing HIV infection and eventually AIDS can be transmitted in several ways. So, ang pinakauna pa rin, most common mode of transmission is through sexual contact. Although um, homosexual uh, transmission or particularly yung mga men having sex with men is the most common of all the uh, modes of transmission, ang virus ay maaari rin matransmit through heterosexual contact. So meaning, if a male HIV-positive patient had an unsafe sex with a female, so pwede rin matransmit yun, or vice versa. Kailangan mag-ingat pa rin. At bukod sa sexual transmission, there are other modes of transmission pa like yung needle stick injury, particularly among healthcare workers. So when they don't um, practice appropriate uh, needle stick precaution, so merong risk or chance na matransmit ang uh, virus from an infected patient to the healthcare worker. So dapat mag-ingat pa rin. And aside from these other modes of transmission, so meron nga yung from mother, an infected mother, to her baby. Yung last is through uh, transfusion of contaminated blood. However, during this time, 
hindi na dapat natin nakikita yung uh, transfusion ng contaminated blood because ang HIV ay isa sa mga um, diseases na ini-screen sa mga blood donors. Fact or myth? HIV is a death sentence. So this is myth. Particularly, ano na ba tayo ngayon, nasa 2021 na, no? Siguro nung early parts of the disease, it was in um, 1980s, nang unang na-discover yung virus and eventually yung sakit na HIV infection, eventually AIDS. Wherein, wala pang masyadong kaalaman ukol sa disease. Ngunit ngayon, with the advent of the antiretroviral drugs or what we call as antiretroviral treatment, as I've said, these are um, treatment to suppress the uh, virus in the body. So kahit um, ikaw ay na-diagnose ng HIV infection, it doesn't uh, mean na it's full-blown AIDS already. So pwede pang ma-suppress yung virus sa inyong body at pwede nga yung tinatawag namin maging undetectable ang viral load nyo. So meaning, mawala yung um, detectable level, level ng virus sa katawan kahit na ikaw ay na-diagnose ng HIV infection and ma-prevent din yung other um, opportunistic infection. So with the advent of the antiretroviral drug, so HIV diagnosed patients can live up to more than 20 years as long as they religiously take these antiretroviral drugs and without necessarily leading to full-blown AIDS. So, kailangan mag-ingat pa rin, no? So, hindi siya magiging death sentence kung ang isang diagnosed HIV patient ay marunong or matututong alagaan ang kanyang sarili sa pag-inom ng proper antiretroviral drugs, sa pagkonsulta sa mga espesyalista, or sa kanilang mga doktor at pagsunod sa mga payo ng iyong doktor. At of course, behavioral change pa rin. No? So if you um, have a healthy life, and then you follow a um, healthy life, so hindi, kay, hindi magiging um, death sentence ang HIV infection. So maraming salamat po sa ating mga tagapakinig. Hopefully, meron po kayong natutunan ukol sa HIV AIDS, inyong nalaman kung alin ang totoo, facts, at alin ang hindi or myths. Kung meron po kayong additional na mga katanungan, maaari lamang pumunta or magtanong sa Manila Med or sa inyong mga doktor. Maraming salamat po.